Starting soon, the Monday Market Highlights podcast will be exclusively available on Milford's new podcast channel called On Track with Milford. Search On Track with Milford on your podcast app and tap subscribe so you don't miss out on any episodes. You're listening to the Monday Market Highlights brought to you by Milford. Good morning, it's Monday the 12th of June and I'm Nick from Milford. Looking at the key economic news from last week, domestically we had the RBA interest rate decision out for June, where they decided to hike rates a further 25 basis points, bringing the cash rate to 4.1%. This was a surprise to the market, with expectations set on another pause. The key driver of the hike was to give the RBA greater confidence that inflation will return to target levels after recent strong data prints indicated further upside risk to inflation remains. It's also worth noting that the final paragraph remained unchanged to prior statements, noting that further tightening may be required while remaining data dependent. Continuing in Australia, Q1 GDP growth came in at 0.2% quarter on quarter, below consensus of 0.3%. Although still indicating economic growth, the pace continues to slow. In the US, we had a weak ISM services print falling to 50.3 in May, down from 51.9 in April and below forecast of 52.2. Details were soft across the board with new orders down to 52.9 from 56.1 in April and business activity and new export orders also decreased. Moving to the EU, GDP unexpectedly contracted in Q1, coming in at minus 0.1% versus expectations of 0%. Details showed household and public sector expenditure both decreased. After the revision down in Q4 2022, this is the second consecutive quarter of negative growth for the EU. We also had the China inflation print coming in slightly below expectations for May at 0.2% year-on-year compared to expectations of 0.3% and a print of 0.1% in April. Turning to equity news, it was a busy week in the New Zealand market. On Tuesday, we had EBOS announce that they lost their major contract with Chemist Warehouse to Sigma Group, which was coming up for renewal in June 2024. It's worth noting that Sigma included equity in their deal, giving the Chemist Warehouse approximately 10% ownership post-issuance. On Wednesday, Infratil announced that they will acquire the remaining 50% of One New Zealand, previously known as Vodafone New Zealand, from Brookfield for $1.8 billion. The funding for this included an $850 million equity raise at a $9.20 share price. On Friday, we also had the Auckland Council vote in favour of selling down 7% of the 18% stake in Auckland International Airport as part of a plan to reduce local government debt. This means a sale of circa 103 million shares for $875 million. ASX Limited had a downgrade at their investor day on Tuesday where they talked through a new technology strategy. They noted increased capex requirements, increased cost growth, they trimmed the dividend payout policy and noted that they will raise 200 to 300 million in debt to give balance sheet flexibility. Lastly in equity news, Baby Bunding came out with a downgrade at their trading update last week noting very weak sales. They downgraded their guidance and talked to comparable store sales being down minus 4 to minus 5% if the current trends continue. Looking at the week ahead, it's a busy week on the economic front. On Tuesday, we have the US inflation print out for May and UK employment data out as well. On Thursday, the US interest rate decision and FOMC economic projections will be key to watch. We also have the Australian employment data out on Wednesday, which the RBA will be watching very closely. Later in the week, we have the US retail sales, we have the ECB interest rate decision, we have the final inflation print in the EU for May, and we have the preliminary University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Survey in the US. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. Don't forget, this podcast is moving to Milford's new podcast channel. Search On Track with Milford on your podcast app and tap subscribe so you don't miss out.